Hi everyone, Coach Sullivan here again with MJS Coaching Football. To my subscribers, I thank you, and to everybody else, I hope you do. Just completed my 38th year coaching football as a defensive coordinator, but over that span, I've also been an offensive coordinator, special teams coordinator, longtime head coach. <coughs> Excuse me. All of this at both the collegiate and high school levels. <coughs> Sorry. What I'd like to talk to you about today at our 3-4 are two of our plug family blitzes from the inside linebacker position that we call Bill and Mick. It's the same blitz, but for different linebacker, okay? So I've got it drawn up here, and I'll, I'll go over that with you in due time. So it's a single A-gap, same side pressure, which means one linebacker is blitzing the A-gap on his side. Okay, which is going to bring in the technique and rules for the plug blitz as a result. So key terms, that is a key term, A-gap, same side blitz. That means everything to our players because it then it tells them who their designated blocker is, what they're reading, then we teach their eyes so they can blitz full speed, keep it simple. We teach them the near edge, and this time, anytime it's an A gap on your side, anytime it's an A gap blitz, even if it's opposite side, it's the center. So, near edge read of the center. Okay, we're going to show it to you and what their reaction should be based on that near edge. Okay, it's an automatic auto readout. I'll teach you how that works. Okay, what gets them to abort the pressure, meaning read out of it. And it is a read. It's a full speed read. Okay. The lucky Ringo call, which is our blitz call, L and R. You know, lucky left, Ringo right. Okay. So in these particular plug blitzes, Bill, see, begins with a B, means it's the backer. All right. So we keep it real simple. Oh, if you notice, everybody's got a different letter for their position. Well, it comes in handy when you're coming up with codes for your blitz names. Any of names, right, like Bill, Mick, et cetera, that begin with the letter B, that's the backer. Mick, M, well, any of the names that begin with the letter M, it's the mic. Okay, even when it's a double blitz involving both, if it begins with an M, the mic makes the lucky ringo. If it begins with a B, the backer makes the lucky ringo. Right? Boom, done. It's actually pretty simple. I'm going to talk to you about the benefit of a stance. Our inside linebackers are always in a staggered stance, not just when they blitz. And we do that for a lot of reasons, including it disguises when they're going to blitz. It's a very easy way for them to do what we call dig and drive in their footwork, which helps eliminate false steps. It also is anytime they're not blitzing, it allows them the, their outside or back foot to take a step forward, make, which makes them their philosophy, their way of thinking is downhill, which is how we want our inside linebackers to play. Downhill. Okay. So let's start off with the near edge read. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach it all to you here first with the bill. And then when we do our install, we install Bill and Mick in the same day because it's the same blitz, just two different uh, defenders executing it, all right, to answer that question. So I have the blitzer, in this case, Bill, the backer's in green. In this case, Mick, the mic's in green, so they're in a different color as opposed to everybody else on defense, okay, who will be in blue. Then <clears throat> the um read right the center the near edge read i'm going to have in red so you can see how that impacts the blitzer okay the reaction to a near edge read and then the last thing i'll show you is how we teach them what will get them to read out of the blitz abort the blitz not executing it because it, it, it'd be bad if you did okay so first up who is involved in this blitz, right? Well, first of all, the first thing that has to happen is you got to make the lucky Ringo call. So, you know, the football is the dividing line. Back is on the right. He says Ringo. Well, that tells the nose 
on the snap to slant a gap away from the call. And that tells the defense in, defensive end on the side of the call to slant the B gap. Because now the backer is plug blitzing the near edge of the center. Because the center, on any A gap blitz, the center is the designated blocker. That's the guy we're reading and reacting to. Okay, I'm not going to talk about any of the blitz coverages. That's not a part of this presentation. Okay, so we covered the Lucky Ringo. We're about to cover reactions to the near edge read. Okay, and before I get into either of those, the stance. All right, this is the feet of the backer with the way we have it. So the mic over here. On the left, okay, there's the football. The inside foot is the up foot. We want their play side foot. So if you're on, on the left, your left foot's back. If you're on the right, your right foot's back. So his stance is like that. And the stagger is slight. The, the back foot, the toe, is on the arch of your foot of the instep, whatever term your players understand. Okay, and it's a narrow base. And so that is their stance 100% of the time unless they have to stack the nose. Then their toes are even. Okay, so this is their stance, again, 100% of the time unless they stack the nose. So the benefit of that staggered stance, as I mentioned, first of all, it disguises the blitz. You watch TV. Inside linebackers, they got wide stances, they got toes even. Then when they're going to blitz, boop, all of a sudden they got a staggered stance. I always say, oh, that guy's blitzing. I just can tell from the stance, the change in the stance. Well, you can't tell from us. There's one benefit. The other benefit, by having this staggered stance, it allows you to dig and drive without false steps. What we literally tell them to do when you're going to blitz, because nobody can see this. The inside foot, so the up foot, we say lift that heel. So now you put more weight on that toe. And then when the ball snapped, you're literally digging off that toe and driving your back foot forward. So there's no drop steps. There's no false steps, no pitter pat or nothing. You're digging off the front toe and you're driving the back foot forward. That's what's meant by, excuse me, dig and drive footwork. No false steps. If a kid falls steps, that means he's literally picking his inside foot up off the ground instead of digging it off the toe, and young players will do that. But other playlists, we call it our bird dog drill. they got to emphasize that at the start of every practice every single day of the week, of the preseason, spring, in season, every day. I don't care if it's a four-year linebacker. Okay? So the aiming point is the near edge of the center, EGAP. Near edge, okay? That's it, near edge. So then what happens is this. We teach the kids. The near edge is going to do one of two things. It's going to come towards you. It's going to go away from you, right? So you're blitzing. Near edge is going away from you. Now, as you're blitzing, you, treat, you train your eyes. You see that, and you see that, okay? You got to be able to see both. Your eyes for this other guard is your inside linebacker um, partner, in this case, the Mike. He's going to be your eyes on this guard. So you got to see near edge of the center and see your own guard. Okay, that's going to bring in <clears throat> the uh, readout in a second. Okay, so near edge to you, you're going to peel, Benef you know, penetrate, peel. That means you play side. Near edge to you, peel and penetrate. That means you play side, right? So near edge two equals peel and penetrate. Your play side. I know I have bad handwriting. I apologize. The near edge goes away from you. Okay, and he's doing the same. 
Now you're on the back side, right? Going away from you like that, so you're going to bend. So near edge away, bend because you're on the back side. Okay? So now, here, here are the two scenarios that will get you to read out. And you are blitzing the gap unless these two things happen. Okay? So you're reading the near edge. It's a two-year away. You're seeing your guard. If your guard. Okay? Is pulling. You are going to read out. You keep blitzing. The ball's been tossed. It's going outside. Two ships pass tonight. So many times watching, you know, recruits on film. Now he's coming, and there goes the back, and it's like two ships passing in the night. It's like oh yeah yeah right. So that's that scenario. What we do is if he pulls in the same direction, we treat that like a backside and we have him bend. Okay, we have him bend. So the other scenario to get you to, to uh, read out is if you hear trap or pull. And that's going to come from your mic. So now... This guard's coming here. That will get you to read out. So if one of the two guards is pulling to you, you're reading out. You'll see yours. He'll tell you about his. Okay? So near edge is the center. He's to you. Peel and penetrate. He's away from your bend. If your guard's pulling to you, read out. If you get a trap call, read out. We're not going to waste you on the blitz when that <clears throat> the offensive linemen are telling you not to. Okay? So that is all of the techniques in, a, in an A-gap on the same side. Okay? So now over here, it's going to be the same, just reversed. It's a mix, so it's the mic. So now he's saying, lucky. Nose, nose, he's going away from the call. The end. See, we're left and right, so any wrangle, the stud's involved. Any lucky, the end's involved, right? Keeping it simple up front. Snap of the football. He's got the staggered stance. Dig and drive. Tacking that near edge. Everything stays the same. Near edge comes to him. He peel and penetrates. Near edge goes away. He bends. He pulls. He gets a trap call. You read out. See, again, a big part of blitzing, a huge part of blitzing, is teaching your players how to blitz with their eyes open. Okay? And that's very simple. Any A-gap blitz, that's their read, the center. Okay? And... Near edge, as I'm blitzing this A gap, is there. Pretty simple. Okay, if he was blitzing, like I showed you before, that's the near edge. And you teach him how to read this eye on the near edge, this eye sees your eye guard. Play with your ears open so when your other linebacker helps you with his guard, the two scenarios to read out the two guards, you got them covered. That allows you to play fast because you can play fast up here. You know, again, too often we see the two ships in the night, and I just say you blitz and blindfold, right? You might as well be put a blindfold on, right? Blitz with your eyes open, son. And a lot of younger players will do that, so please don't get frustrated or it just makes them play slower, right? You'll slow them down mentally. You don't want to do that. I know we don't want to do it. We don't ever want to do that, okay? So, again, single, single A-gap, same side blitz. It's going to be the center near edge, okay? It's an auto readout, which means we're blitzing that gap unless one of the two guards is pulling to me. And that, whoop, is getting me out of it, okay? So as I said at the beginning, any question uh, to my subscribers, I'm sorry, 
Thank you. And to those who haven't yet, I hope you do. And to everybody, this is what I wanted to say now. Anybody has any questions, I really hope you'll reach out to me at CoachMJSullivan at gmail.com because I just would love to talk football with you.